lacking is that you have the core of the band, which is uh, three members, and uh, <coughs> it's it's quite special. The, the three of you. Um, uh, well, what's even more surprising for me is that you both come from, you know, in, in world terms, uh, a relatively small place, Uppsala, and yet all three of you happen to come across each other in this small place. Does that ever strike you as being something like one in a million or one in a billion? Or of course, of, of course, I thought that we, we thought a lot about these things. And, and what's even more interesting now, I was talking about it with, with some other guys from, from Uppsala yesterday who are now playing in Repugnant and, yeah. and some other bands from Solid the Giant and Invidious. There it's where it, where, where it gets really interesting for me because they they come from a very similar point of view. They, they have a very similar approach to music that, that we have and that we had when we began as well. And of course they are in a way inspired by us. They are, I don't know, seven years younger or something. But there was no direct link between the, the between Watain as a band and them, they built this thing up themselves and they also come from from, Uppsala, from, from this really small place. Actually, the main guys of, of, of all those bands are actually born 500 meters from where I was born. So, so it's, I don't know, maybe there is something in the soil, maybe it's just a coincidence, but yeah. I, I don't really believe in coincidences when it comes to these sort of things. What's the story of this place? I think it's, it's, uh, it was nothing really that we had in mind, it just at some point, I think we realized that we had that Vatain had sort of outgrown itself, not 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 as a not not at all in a like I would say as a ca ca not not a, not in a career aspect, but rather as a, uh, as as a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. You know, it it had become something more than a than a band that we're just you know meeting at weekends and, and rehearsing and then want to do a tour and, and some albums together. It had become something more, and if, uh, it was a combination of that and also our wish, I think, to shut the world out. You know, because we realized that I don't know we we don't really have anything to to gain from like. From anything that's outside of this place, and everything that's most important was that that happens in here. Yeah, we need, we needed that kind of place to something that extended just a regular rehearsal room, a yeah. place that was our uh, headquarters. What has Swan to the Dark done for Athen? I've been having to think a lot about that lately, and um, as you know the. The Trinity, the, the number three, has always been a very significant number in, in the world of Athen. And Sworn being the third record, obviously, it had to fill maybe a even stronger purpose than anything we had done before in that sense. And uh, I think what happened was that we arrived to a point where we were finally completely confident about what we wanted to achieve with the band. and. Sworn in, in that sense became the definite foundation, the, 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 the definite manifestation of, of, of our artistic vision somehow. And uh, in relation to Lawless Darkness, it became the, the platform on, on which we could finally begin to work for real. You know? Sworn was a arrival point in that sense, and uh, we are now able to finally begin working. How do you, you view the fact that Vatain is gaining a steadily bigger fan base? I see it as a natural progress. To me it's... It would be strange if it, if it would have gone in any other way because just as we have been progressing as a band and, and evolving as a band, uh, the energy within the band uh, and that the, the, the band contains has also been pushing outwards. It, it has grown in itself, you know, and it's bound to color a, a, a wider range of, of people because it's that's that's it's within its nature, you know. I mean, when you're building something up, it, it will it will naturally start to grow by itself and, and, and absorb, every, uh, absorb and, and devour everything around it and that's, that's what, what, exactly what has happened. 
so it's not as much a goal as it is a consequence of our dedication. Yeah, because I've read and I've heard you said before that if you could say that the ten has an aim, it's basically just to reach as far as possible. Well, that is a that is a that feels a bit simple for me. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that that's the perfect definition of, of the goals we attain. I, I think that that's perhaps a once again a consequence of the goals that we have, you know, because what we are aiming to do is to. How, let, let's put it like this. I mean, the music of attain to me is a translation of an energy within us. And the more and more we evolve in, in, in artistic skill, the more pure this translation will become. And the goal, do, do, you, do you see what I mean? And, and um, the goal would be the day when the translation is, when nothing is lost in translation, when, when, the, when the, ex the expression that is attained is doesn't differ anything from, from the source that we want to express and that is a very ambitious goal of course and I am not convinced that it will ever be fully achieved at least not within a musical context I'm not sure if that is possible but that's always something that we are striving for and that in turn is bound to attract a very a very big audience because that's exactly what people intentionally intentionally or not are looking for in art in a way you know something that is completely pure something that is lacking any anything that is that is not completely genuine you guys came into view for a lot of people in uh, 2004 when you did the the section tour. I know the section is a very important band for you. Um, the last album, when it was released, um, it got a lot of negative press because people weren't expecting it or ready for it. Um, I think it's quite fitting now that, you know, as the years go by a little bit, uh, more and more people are coming around to realize what a masterpiece it is. I was expecting that to happen. I, I, I didn't imagine it to to go so fast, you know. I I, th I thought it would take ten more years mm. for for people to grasp because people are usually pretty slow and somewhat retarded when it comes to these sort of things. But uh, yeah, for me it was just a matter of time, you know. And because so because it does it doesn't matter, you know, what style of music, what style of metal that is more popular now. Uh, it doesn't it hasn't got anything to do with that. It's the reason why why it was bound to sooner or later be be acknowledged f to the extent that it should be is that it consists of things it, there are energies within that album that are real and that can be touched upon and not everyone is immediately receptive to those kind of energies they they take much longer time for most people to absorb i think and that's what we're seeing happening now. We're in chaos taking its toll. Do you think it's justification, or for you was it just it was it was almost uh, it was almost uh, it almost justified some of your thoughts when it came out? And you expected people not to understand it. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't think so much about that at the time because I was too. I was too much in the in the middle of everything mm -hmm. somehow, and, and and the album itself had gotten me so greatly that I, I had a hard time to focus on what other people even thought about right. it, you know. To me it's needless to say, you know, one of the most important albums in my life. Yeah.